Okay, so I actually wanted to end today's show talking a little bit about Cade Cunningham and his decision that he announced the other day that he would be indeed returning to Oklahoma State. And when we saw this headline, I was pretty surprised because it's not that I didn't expect Cade Cunningham to come back, but after just everything that's went down over the last couple uh, days, it's just been a really crazy process. And it's been a really crazy path to to get to where exactly where we are right now so in case you missed it Cade Cunningham is the number one prospect in all of college basketball right now his game is absolutely nasty um he's just such a pleasure to watch and a lot of people do think going into this season Oklahoma State did have some hype around their basketball program their coach Mike Boynton this is going to be his fourth year he actually has not made an NCAA tournament yet since he's been the head coach of Oklahoma State, but he really wanted to change that uh, for this upcoming season. And I think he had the program in the right direction to do that. But when you look at Cade Cunningham, the Cowboys, and where exactly they stand right now, it turns out that they were banned by the NCAA from the 2021 NCAA tournament after Lamont Evans, uh, one of their assistant coaches, uh, got caught uh, taking money into his own pocket. And the NCAA really did hit Oklahoma State hard. But the one thing that I have continued to say on this show over the last couple weeks is that Mike Boynton really does deserve credit for the way he has handled the situation. I actually heard him on my guy Aaron Torres's podcast a couple days ago, I believe. And he was talking a little bit about how he reacted to the news when he heard that his Oklahoma State Cowboy program would be banned from the NCAA tournament. And he really didn't really think much of it. You know, obviously, I don't know how he really felt about it deep down, but the attitude he used toward it was very interesting to me. It was kind of just like, all right, we know it happened. It sucked, but we need to get better and better every day, try to move on. And we're going to really try to appeal this to the NCAA uh, and hope that somehow, some way, uh, they could reverse their decision, which they really don't have that good of a history of doing. And then somehow, some way, we could find our way into the NCAA tournament. And when I look at the Cowboys and how, uh, you know, this appeal process is going to go, and a lot of people have asked me, you know, Zach, what do you think the NCAA is going to do here? Do you think there's any realistic possibility to believe that the Cowboys could uh, be eligible for the NCAA tournament? And I want to say they can be because what I will say is this. Mike Boynton, you guys remember, I did my um, Big 12 Coach Power Rankings on this show last week, and it was no surprise that I had Mike Boynton at number 10 on my list. And I said the only reason for this isn't because of the uh, everything that went down with the assistant coach. He's just the only coach in the Big 12 that hasn't made an NCAA tournament yet. That's the only reason why I have him at number 10. And I think when you look at that, those facts and you combine it with everything that has went down by the NCAA and how brutal they've been to Mike Boynton and his, uh, and his staff during this process, I think when you look at the Cowboys, um, Mike Boynton has really shown me a lot with the way not only he's responded, but with the way his team has responded since everything has went down and the NCAA fired their punishments. Because when you look at the Cowboys... I've said it before, I even said it to open up this show, Cade Cunningham, Isaac Likely, um, and all those guys coming back, that's, that's going to be one of the better one-two punches in all of college basketball. They also lose your NA, which is a transfer that's not going to you know, uh, kill you, but it's not going to hurt you. It's not going to help you either. The, Bone, the Boone brothers do come back. They also bring back Chris Harris. So when I look at Oklahoma State and some of the decisions by some of these players to come back to Stillwater, I think Mike Boynton really does deserve credit for that. And maybe I was just kind of brainstorming and thinking to myself, if the NCAA sees a couple things, maybe somehow, some way, we could get them to do something that we've never really see them done, and that is reverse their decision when it comes to the Cowboys postseason ban. A lot of it has to do with the fact, and I think this is a really good comparison that I'm going to make right here, is that you guys remember 
when um, Drew Brees said his comments on, and I'm not trying to get political here, but about kneeling for the national anthem, and he kind of got crushed for it, and eventually he didn't take it back, but he he made some comments to counter. Or I'll tell you what, an even better, um, an even better comparison would be Roger Goodell and his initial feelings toward. Um, Colin Kaepernick kneeling for the anthem and not really accepting it. When you compare how Roger Goodell felt then compared to the way he felt now and the way he feels about it is clearly shown when you see him releasing the video of um, you know the NFL apologizing and not for not really dealing with racial injustice. I think a big reason for that video coming out was the public's reaction and that due to the public's reaction, a lot of people's opinions really did change on everything that went down in our country. And maybe, just maybe, that could happen here with the NCAA and Oklahoma State. If the NCAA could see that they're just getting bashed by the public for their decision on this case, maybe they wouldn't have that big of a problem reinstating the Oklahoma State Cowboys into the NCAA tournament Yes, your eligible picture. And I don't know if this would really affect the NCAA or direct them in any way towards their decision, but I do think it says a lot about Mike Boynton and the current state of the program when you see not only players like Cade Cunningham coming back, because a lot of people will say, oh, everyone knows Cade Cunningham is going to make a lot of money uh, during his college basketball or during his professional basketball career, excuse me. Uh, you also factor that his brother is on the coaching staff at Oklahoma State. I think a lot of people will say, oh yeah, I'm not really that surprised by Cade Cunningham announcing that he's coming back to Oklahoma State just because when you look at the facts of the situation um not like his brother's there and this is going to be his last year of really being a kid and a lot of people do believe that the main one of the main reasons as why as to why Cade Cunningham decided to go to Oklahoma State in the first place was because his brother was on the assistant uh, staff. You know, even though it sucks that Oklahoma State isn't going to be allowed to play in the NCAA tournament, it would still be good for them to see uh, Cade Cunningham there um, with the program. But you're seeing other guys like Isaac Likely, who has literally one more year of college basketball eligibility left. And if he would have transferred like his teammate Yorane, he would have been eligible right away. And he's that good of a player where literally every other program in the country would want him and want him to be a member of of their basketball team. And I think it does tell you a lot about where the Cowboy program currently is when you see a bunch of those players announcing that they're coming back. But once again, going back to the NCAA and going back to Oklahoma State's hopeful process to appeal, all I'm going to say is this. If the NCAA doesn't reverse their decision and continues to keep Oklahoma State banned from the NCAA tournament, I just don't really know what exactly their logic behind it would be because they really have treated Oklahoma State unfairly during this whole process. When you look at it, the bottom line is this. I'm looking at the facts. Oklahoma State got punished because Lamont Evans was pocketing money and he wasn't even giving it towards uh, the program. He wasn't even, you know, Oklahoma State, the basketball program wasn't even gaining anything from it. And let's not forget to mention, Mike Boynton wasn't even the head coach of the basketball program at the time. You know, it wasn't even under his watch. And you're going to punish the players that are currently on the Oklahoma State basketball team, who keep in mind were only in high school at the time. I just don't think that's very fair to the Cowboys current players, nor the Cowboys current staff. And when you look at Oklahoma State, um, you know, they, they don't deserve to be banned from the NCAA tournament. That's all I got to say. And I think it tells you a lot about the program once again to see these guys coming back. I think hopefully Cade Cunningham and Isaac Likely, even if they are indeed not eligible for the NCAA tournament, they could maybe bring back some good vibes into the Cowboy program. I think that would do a lot for the fan base when you consider everything that has gone on with this program as of late. Um, and I really do feel bad for them. I don't think they deserve to be banned from the NCAA tournament whatsoever. It's just very unfortunate that this went down. And um, at least we're going to see Cade Cunningham have the opportunity to play college basketball because from everything I've seen, he is a special, special player that 
um, even if he is not eligible for the NCAA tournament, we're going to have a fun time watching him play in the Big 12.